can you tell me about Tavoya? Like, who was Tavoya? Oh, mom? my mom was so lit. She had like big, beautiful, like bright eyes. You could see her soul and her love through her eyes. She was just a warm person all around. Like she had a light about her inside that you could see. She was everything. She was a very lively person. Her spirit was bigger than herself. When I attended my mother's chemotherapy sessions, she would always be so upbeat and bright. I remember the last time I ever saw her, she like barely could talk, hadn't even eaten, hadn't drank, hadn't drank any water for like a week or something. And she was like, how'd you do on your math test? And I was like, mommy, how could you be worried about my math test? That's just how she was. I, um, she was a, she was a great woman. I was freshman year in high school, so my mom came home after work and she felt a little lump under her um, armpit. She didn't have any type of like insurance or anything, so she hadn't gone in to, to get it checked out or anything. And about a week later, my grandmother was up late and saw Capital Breast Care Center featured on the news. My mom went to the center and eventually got diagnosed with um, triple negative breast cancer. We were completely distraught. And mommy was it was everything. Capital Breast Care Center was her entryway to medical care. Washington, D.C. has one of the highest breast cancer rates in the country, which is sort of alarming. We recognize that with all the gifts, the talents, and the blessings that are a part of Georgetown University, and we look at the disparities that exist across our city, we have an urgent responsibility to contribute. When she found her lump, she didn't have insurance. The struggles of the underserved population often includes access, access to a community that is really involved and engaged with them, access to the services. CBCC serves predominantly minority and Hispanic populations that tend to be uninsured or underinsured. Our focus is on community outreach and patient navigation. The services that CBC connected her to, the great doctors and the patient navigator, that's what, you know, the, that treatment that she received sustained her life for longer. The navigator is very important from the beginning to the end. Beginning meaning entering the process of the outreach side. They do help people throughout this entire spectrum of care. There's so many people that are, that are like my mother, they may not know about these free services that are offered. Fear sometimes paralyzes you. When people are afraid, it's really helpful to have a patient navigator on your team, by your side, so that you can help them get through the tough times. Stress helps cancer to spread. And the fact that they took so much stress away for her, that they gave me more time with my mother that I could have never gotten. You need someone literally just like pick you up and you know, by your bootstraps. Someone who's also empathetic and will see you as a whole person. That commitment to cura personalis, the idea of the care for each and every person is something that we, we take so seriously as a university community. I was really happy because I feel like they really like knew my mom and like actually like treasured her and, and they all came to the funeral and it was so beautiful. They're just real people and genuine, and they just, they treated my mom amazing, amazing. She was actually pregnant with her third child when she graduated from you. Spelman, pregnant with me. I wanted to drop out of college um, and stay here. And my mother said, you're not dropping out for anything. If the worst thing that happens, happens, I can't pause my life because life continues and you have to build up a foundation to be able to reach back and help. You know, I just try to keep on thinking about the positive things that she tried to instill in me, you know, just keep on smiling through everything. She made me the person I am today and I thank her so much for that. A few days before she passed, me and my little brother went up to the hospital and she just told us that like, you know, we were gonna be okay. It, it, it sounded like a breakup conversation. I was like, you're not doing this right now. <laughs> you're not doing this. And she was just like, you know, like, y'all are strong, you know, Leah, you're strong and like, y'all are gonna be okay and putting us at, at peace. As bad as breast cancer has to be, 
Capital Breast Care Center made it as positive as it could possibly be. You know, it's one of the hardest things to go through is uh, losing a parent. You know, I don't want that for any other little boy <laughs> or any little girl that would have to go through that. If we're being responsive to the challenge of justice in our world today, we have an urgent responsibility to engage. Capital Breast Care Center is saving women's lives, giving them a chance for a better today and a hope for a brighter tomorrow.